Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a scan where you can find stocks that are pulling back to a moving average or retracing to a moving average. It's a common way to trade, especially swing trade stocks, or even uh, if you want to do options on it, you know, to catch a flag, a bear flag or a bull flag, and when it's pulled back to like the 20 MA or, or some other moving average of your choice, there's a simple and easy way to find that, and it's done with a scan. So let me just show you real quick. We'll go here, we're going to go to scan, and I'm going to load a scan that I've already got made. And this scan here, come on, the scan here is going to be within 2% of the 20 EMA in my my go-to list, my watch list that I like to keep an eye on. So let's load that, let's scan, and there's the scan results. Now, because I saved it as a scan, I'm also able to pull that watch list up as a scan. So I just create the scan and run it once, and then I save it, and then it will just automatically, let me see, where is it? It will automatically update throughout the day without you having to continually run the scan. For example, you notice these are the same exact symbols here in my watch list that are on this scan right now. Also, if you wanted to set an alert, to, so when uh, new ones added, when, when the scan results change, you click on that little tab right there. Let's show you one more time. This little drop down menu, add an alert. When results change, you get a when a symbol is added or a symbol is removed or a symbol is added or removed, going either way. You can set that alert, and you will be alerted, so you don't have to continually keep an eye on it. So just, let me just show you a couple scans I've got here. You see that one there is uh, within 2% of the 20 EMA on my go-to list. also have one. I have several of them. Uh, let me see. Here's within 2% of stocks within the S&P 100. And you'll notice up here that I have it only those that have weekly options. I've intersected it with weekly options up here. So run that scan. There it is. I saved it as a scan so I don't have to run it anymore. And there's the watch list. And you'll notice the exact same symbols that came up in the scan are also in that watch list. That will update throughout the day. Uh, again, set an alert. Let you know when something's added or removed or added or removed. You know, you got three ways to do that. Let me show you. You notice this here in this section here. I have it set to daily, but I also like to look at longer term trends. So let me show you one load. And I've got it. Uh, let's see, 200 EMA at 2% on the weekly. You'll notice that switches to weekly. If you look into the custom think script here, I have the 200 EMA, and it's within 2%. And I labeled it up here what it is. So we'll run that scan. And then I can load it. I also saved it as a scan over here. Let me see where is it at? 20 EMA, 2% weekly. You'll notice it's the exact same ones. So if you wanted to edit this scan, you could go to the custom think script, click on the custom down here, and here it is. You can change, if you'd rather, I use the EMA, but if you want the simple moving average, you just change the word exponential to simple. You could change this number here to whatever EMA you want, whether it be to 20, to 50, to 200, to 100, whatever. And this is where you change the percentage. You'll notice this is a minus 2%. This is plus 2% right here. You can change those numbers to get your percentages. Let me show you, for example, I have a, a 4 percenter on the first one. There we go. Where's that? Within 4% on the weeklies. <laughs> we'll scan. And apparently there's nothing with it, 4% on the uh, 200 EMA. So let's, 
I haven't made this scan for this, but let's change that to the 20 on the weeklies. That's probably more reasonable. And there it is. This is what comes up. So we save this. Let's go ahead and save it while I have it here. We'll just go through the whole steps. SP 100, 20 EMA weekly with under 4%. So we're going to save that. Oh, I've already got it. Well, we just override it. I didn't realize I already had it. Okay, so we're going to load that up. SP 120 EMA, 4%. And you'll notice it's the exact same uh, companies that's in the scan are also in the watch list because, you, like I said, you scan it once. Now, if I wanted to take a look at it, you know, you want, this is a non-directional scan. In other words, you're going to catch them trending up, trending down, and ranging. So, you, you have, excuse me, you have to do a little work here. And you'll notice this one here is trending down. It's wrapping, my 20 MA is the blue one. And it's wrapping, it's, it's almost touching it. It's within 4%. Here's another one. Uh, trending down. Here's one that's kind of ranging, Home Depot. It just broke off of it though, but you, but it's within 4%. This is on a weekly. Oh, excuse me. Let's get the chart right. My bad. There we go. All right. That one is, I don't know, kind of ranging. This one here is going down. This is on the weekly. Home Depot is uh, starting to trend up. It's made a pullback to the weekly, so I will probably get in this one Monday. Let me uh, go ahead and make me a little note here. So that looks like it's going to be a good swing candidate to go back up for a while. I, I like to use the weekly. Holding stuff for a little bit of time. Of course, Lowe's, pretty much the same thing. NVIDIA, looks like it's coming into a point where it's uh, probably ready to do a good swing. You know, 30 day, 45, six week swing on Walmart. So, Walmart, they just got spanked, but, it, you know, they're probably going to bounce right back up, I'd imagine, because they're not really drug dealers like the government's saying they are. Let me see. We don't have Target in here. I thought Target would be in this list, but it's not. Anyhow, so it's that simple. So what I'm going to do, I showed you how to change the Think Script. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to share a link to one of these so you don't have to go build it out yourself. I'll just go ahead and share share a link here. Let me see where is it at. Oh, we're not on the scan. And it'll be down in the description. And let me go ahead and uh, share... This is the weekly. Let's, uh, now remember, the time frame is not actually done in the think script. It's done right here, okay? And all of mine, I have earnings. You know, I don't. I don't want earnings showing up. So, but anyhow, we yeah, load load the uh, two percent on the twenty EMA S and P one hundred and. And I will share that one. Be the link will be in the description below. You can edit it to make it your own, whatever you want. Okay, this will be uh two percent twenty EMA scan. There you go. Share. Make sure we got that. Yeah, we got that. So we got to the right, right one here. 
I'm going to stick it down in the bottom in the, in the uh, description. I hope this helped. You have a good day.